What's up guys, welcome to another video. This video we're going to be taking a look at one of my favorite new watches. Um, and before you just stop watching the video, you don't want to miss this one, alright? So, I like watches. I'm a watch, I don't know what you call them when they're like infatuated with watches, a watch collector, whatever. Um, so I'm always looking for like the kick butt watch. Now, I gotta say, um, out of all the watches that I have and I've worn, for some reason, this one here gets the most compliments or questions when somebody sees it on my wrist. So, that just validates to me when I selected this watch and I bought it, not only because of its looks, but its value. My gosh, this should be, I, I don't say this very often, more expensive than it is. Okay, so it's one of those ones, it's like, you really feel like you got a great bargain when you buy these watches because I think they're undervalued and underpriced and I think they're gonna go up because they're amazing okay further ado Thomas Earnshaw out of the London right London UK Earnshaw since 1805 London Earnshaw instruction manual okay Congratulations as a person of this finely crafted Earnshaw timepiece. You're now the owner of a timepiece that draws its roots from the renowned English horologist, clock, and watchmaker Thomas Earnshaw, 1749 to 1829. Okay? Get a nice little instruction manual for this watch. Not a whole lot to it. Like it's simple. There you go. It's pretty darn simple. In fact, this is a where to wind. It's a mechanical, automatic, two hands and three hands watches. Okay, so you don't have to worry about AM, PM. Okay, there's no date. It's just basic, but it's beautiful basic is what it is. You don't have to worry about a battery replacement. Oh, just shut up and watch and let's look in at it here, right? Here it is. Oh my goodness. Focus, baby. Focus, focus. Look at that. I'm going to try to bring it in a little closer. Look at that. Do you see those moving parts? They're almost like a tourbillon working down there. Pure beauty. If you don't love the design and the look of this watch, I just don't know. So here's your actual clock. Here's your actual seconds right here. So you've got the time. Again, there's no date. There's no AM or PM. It's just simple look at it and it's like, oh, you know, it's X amount of time. 12.30, 12.15, whatever. If these aren't running down here, you do have to make sure you've got the right time. So if you don't wear this at least eight hours a day, then it's going to stop working and the time's going to be off. So you'll have to just pull the crown and set it and you wear it and then your motion keeps it going and I've literally if I wear this for eight nine ten hours a day and I leave it overnight and I, I get it back on in the morning it's fine if I leave this and don't wear it for a particular day uh, it might last a day but then most time I have to come back and wind it so let's go ahead and take it off its little pillow and you can look at the the nice leather band this this is just absolutely gorgeous now this is available in a couple different color schemes this happens to be the gold so it's got a nice thick, look at that, nice and thick, look at that, beautiful, and the band, nice brown leather, nice gold clasps, I mean, you can't ask for, a, I don't think, a more beautiful watch. This is just amazingly gorgeous. Now. I don't know exactly what they call this model, um, so I'll have a link in the show notes. They do have some that are just limited editions. They do have some that are like sell out real quick, so you just kind of got to watch their site. It's like a little ownership card, reference number, retailer, serial number, date of purchase, so if you want to register your timepiece, you are more than welcome to. But again, 
I mean, is that not just beautiful? I don't know. I just don't know what I, what it would remind me of. Um, you know, some people said, like, well, this looks like something out of Harry Potter. Well, okay, whatever. If you think it looks kind of Harry Potter-ish or uh, um, steampunk, I don't know. I've heard different things, but uh, you might leave a comment in the, down in below what you think the theme here is. Um, but uh, for a classic timepiece, I think this is just a beautiful. And you look at that, you can even see the little piece in there that helps wind it or keeps the motion going. It's moving around. I can tick this off. Don't don't scan me and register me. I still have to do that. So, But anyway, I wanted to bring you guys Thomas, Thomas Earnshaw. I think they have some of the most amazing looking watches and the value is so good that you will not. You'll feel like you got more than what you should have for what you paid. So, and I can't say that very often on stuff, but um, check them out. That's all I have to say. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the show, and as always, guys, thanks for watching. And if this isn't your cup of tea, stay tuned. We'll get back into the tech stuff. We've got some tech stuff coming up big time that you're going to want to see. So if you're not into watches, I expect you to just not watch the video. Don't give it a thumbs down just because you don't like watches. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.